Hi and welcome back to Deep Papa's Living and Flip Flop Life. In today's episode, I want to tell you the importance of uh, being using a good hosting company and uh, the benefits you get by signing up, for example, with Hostigator. Now, I'm an affiliate for Hostigator, but the only reason why I'm an affiliate is because I know how to use it and uh, the people that sign up to me or the, the people that are getting my mentorship or and me helping my, my people, uh, I usually let them go through a web, um, web a hostigator because I know how to use it. So if they get stuck somewhere, I get to help them and everything. But in our case today, I just wanted to go an overview of why I think uh, hostigator is a good hosting company and what it will benefit you with. All right. So and and if if you were to sign up and get a hosting, um, I would go ahead and choose Baby Plan. This is exactly what I have for Depoppers. Uh, dot com and basically what this allows me to do is have unlimited domains on this host uh, it, unlimited domains means that you can have a lot of websites on just one hosting platform and you're good to go all right you pay it um, a, a monthly fee around I pay like around uh, uh, $12 a month I think for for mine when I first got it and I've been paying for, for it for the past two years uh, other than that on that hosting I have a lot of domains that I got myself from uh, GoDaddy. Okay. Um, now, what I wanted to do with this video is show you because I was just creating my own um, uh, domain and hosting. Uh, I just got myself a new product called uh, WP Fan Machine, and basically, I need to have my own domain for this. And uh, this was a chance for me to show you what I would do and 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 how I would get a hosting plan and domain and how I would connect them too together all right in my case again I'm gonna tell you again I would go for baby plan if you're gonna uh, be creating a lot of websites in my case I went ahead and got the hatchling pan just just for this product alone all right so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sign into my GoDaddy account where I have my domain where the domain is the name of the website that I'm gonna have the hosting on all right so um, and what I have here, let me just go to my, my domains. So I, I went ahead and ordered um, a hosting plan and I got the hatch link, etc. And then I received an email from, um, from Hostigator. Let me just show you. Oh, sorry. All right. So this is my page right now on Hostigator, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead into my. But first of all, I need to to I need you to see this part right here. See these name servers? So if you go ahead and grab a domain from another uh, hosting uh, domain place other than Hostigator, for example, you just want to use GoDaddy, that's fine. All you have to do is come down here to the manage um, name servers in your back office of. Um, of uh, GoDaddy okay and what, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to custom and I'm gonna add name service and basically I'm gonna get the information that um, Hostigator gave me uh, on my name service I'm gonna get this right here I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna add it here I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one underneath all right so this is what what is gonna do is just gonna it's gonna uh, contact and connect with Hostigator. Okay, so we're done with that. Now, when I ordered from my um, uh, Hostigator, I I told them that I have my own domain. Like, for example, I went up here and I said I already have my own domain, and I er entered like web marketing services, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I, I put that one down. Okay, and then it f it gave me all the the pricing, etc., and got me to pay for it, etc. Also, don't forget. You can use Honey, Honey app. It's a free app. Download it, use it. It will give you code so you can get uh, for more discount, discounted price on your hosting. All right. So basically, right now, what I did was I changed the the name servers and I'm pinpointing it to the Hostgator um, uh, domain. So we're good to go there. And my next part is getting uh, into my uh, to the C panel. And so I can work with the uh, with the hosting uh, 
like get into my hosting so I can add the plugin and, and create my WordPress. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to create the WordPress account. Okay, thanks for listening. See you soon. See you in the next episode.